Uh, good morning. My name is um, Erica Matthews, and I am the owner of Matthews Island Holidays, a company set up by my parents. Thank you for coming to this presentation, in which I hope to interest you in what we have to offer. We are a small family run company and we believe in the importance of the personal touch. So we don't aim to compete with other companies on the number of customers. What we do is build on our many years experience more than almost um, any other real holiday company to ensure we provide perfect holidays in a small number of destinations of which we've got to know extremely well. I'll start uh, with our 60-day Isle of Man holiday. Uh, this is a fascinating island in the Irish Sea with Wales in the south, England to the east, Scotland to the north and Northern Ireland and to the West. Our holiday starts in Hesham, where your tour manager will meet you. Then as you will travel by ferry to the Isle of Man, some people prefer to fly from Luton instead and an other popular option is to go by train to Liverpool and take a ferry from there. You have five nights in the hotel and the price covers five breakfasts and dinners and lunch on the three day when there are organized trips. Day four is free and most people have lunch in a cafe or restaurant in Douglas. The price of the holiday includes the ferry to the Isle of Man, all travel on the island, the hotel and the meals I've mentioned. Inc incidentally, uh, we try to make booking our holidays as simple and fair as possible. So unlike with many companies, the price is the same, whether you book six months in advance or at the last minute, and uh, there is no supplement for single rooms in hotels. If you make a booking, then need to change the start date, for example, because of illness, you are welcome to change to an alternative day or a different tour for a small administrative fee. Okay, so what does the holiday consist of? Well, on a day one, as you will arrive in time of a in time for a short introduction by your tour manager, followed by a dinner in the hotel, the dining room looks out at the river, close to where it flows into the harbor, and there's usually plenty of activity going on. One day. To one day two. On day two, I will take the coach into the small town of Peel on the way calling in at a time world exhibition. The Isle of Man isn't part of the United Kingdom and it has its own. Uh, parliament called um, Tynwald. It's claimed that this is the world's oldest parliament that is still functioning and that it dates back to 979. However, the earliest surviving reference to it is from 1422. So perhaps it isn't quite as old as it claims. Day three, we have a trip into the mountain Snipple. This begins with a literally ride along the um, promenade in Douglas in a horse-drawn 
tram. Then uh, you board an electric train which takes you into the fishing village of Black Sea. From there, it is an eight kilometer ride in the Snaffle Mountain Railway to the top. Lunch will be in the cafe and give you spectacular views of the island. Day four is free for you to explore using the pass which, uh, which I will give you. Uh, so uh, you won't have to pay for travel on a local uh, transport or for entrance to the Isles Heritage sites. Or you might just want to take it easy in Douglas and perhaps do a little light shopping. The last full day, uh, day five, is for some people the highlight of the holiday with a ride on the steam railway from Douglas to Port Erin. After some time to explore, a coach will take you into the headland that overlooks the Calf of Man, a small island just off the coast. From there, you continue to Castletown, which used to be the capital of the Isle of Man and its medieval castle. And on day six, it's back to the ferry. So the airport, if you flew, if you flew onto the island, and time to go home. Now, I'd like to tell you 